the tree is coming down. I circled the problem here. We've got about between 12 and 16 inches of heave going on right here. The roots are, are coming up. And this is also after this, uh, this storm Zeta that came through. couple of main concerns that we have with this tree. We've got the fence, which houses two horses. The gentleman's concerned about his two horses, either tree falling on them or them getting spooked when the tree falls and them running through the fence. There's also a septic tank about eight feet to the left of that tree where it's photoed at little concerned that it would disrupt the septic tank and then it is planted right beside the septic field there um, so really concerned for me my, my largest concern was that the root ball would tear up that septic field there so it was definitely a, uh, a better option what we ended up doing is taking that fence down there and just dropping it into the pasture um, in a controlled environment where the horses were put up and there was no risk of that thing bringing that massive root ball up and destroying the septic system or the drain field. So because this tree was such a heavy leaner and, and there was a lot of weight towards the top that you can't really see in the video, I decided to go ahead and use a bore cut instead of the traditional um, wedge cut and back cut there. Uh, so this tree was about 38 inches in diameter. I have a 24 inch bar and so I had to had to bore in one direction and go around and mate my two bore cuts up on the other side and then work that bore cut backwards. Um, I goofed a little bit and you'll see it at the end of the end of the show there. I should have left a strap and come back and cut that strap from the back side. But it was a little, the, the, the outside there was a little softer than I anticipated. It was a little more lean than I anticipated and I did not leave enough of that back strap. Um, so it, it goes a little more suddenly than I anticipated, but using that bore cut definitely made things a lot safer there. That was better than the alternative. This tree turned out to really nice eight foot logs. It was all my 873 could do to pick them up and put them into the dump trailer. I can't wait to put them on the mill and see what kind of boards they turn out. 